the aquatic ecosystem the ecosystems consisting of water as the main habitat are known as aquatic ecosystems aquatic ecosystems are classified based on their salt content fresh water ecosystems the salt content of fresh bodies is very low always less than 5 ppt parts per thousand example lakes ponds pools springs streams and rivers marine ecosystems the water bodies containing salt concentration equal to or above that of sea water that is 35 ppt or above example shallow seas and open ocean brackish water ecosystems these water bodies have salt content in between 5 to 35 ppe example estuaries salt marshes mangrove swamps and forests the aquatic organisms the aquatic organisms are classified on the basis of their zone of occurrence and their ability to cross these zones the organisms both flora and fauna in the aquatic ecosystem are unevenly distributed but can be classified on the basis of their life form or location into five groups the newton these are unattached organisms which live at the air water interface such as floating plants etc some organisms spend most of their lives on top of the air water interface such as water striders while others spend most of their time just beneath the air water interface and obtain most of their food within the water example beetles and back swimmers periphyton these are organisms which remain attached to stems and leaves of rooted plants or substances emerging above the bottom mud such as sessile algae and their associated group of animals plankton this group includes both microscopic plants like algae phytoplankton and animals like crustaceans and protozoans zooplankton found in all aquatic ecosystems except certain swift moving waters the locomotory power of the planktons is limited so that their distribution is controlled largely by currents in the aquatic ecosystems nectan This group contains animals which are swimmers. The nectones are relatively large and powerful as they have to overcome the water currents. The animals range in size from the swimming insects about 2 mm long to the largest animals the blue whale. Benthos. The benthic organisms are those found living in the bottom of the water mass. practically every aquatic ecosystem contains well developed bent hose the factors limiting the productivity sunlight sunlight penetration rapidly diminishes as it passes down the column of water the depth to which light penetrates a lake determines the extent of plant distribution based on light penetration and plant distribution they are classified as photic and aphotic zones photic zone it is the upper layer of the aquatic ecosystems up to which light penetrates and within which photosynthetic activity is confined the depth of this zone depends on the transparency of water both photosynthesis and respiration activity takes place photic or euphotic zone is the lighted and usually well mixed portion that extends from the lake surface down to where the light level is 1% of that at the surface aphotic zone the lower layers of the aquatic ecosystems where light penetration and plant growth are restricted forms the aphotic zone only respiration activity takes place aphotic zone is positioned below the littoral and photic zones to bottom of the lake where light levels are too low for photosynthesis respiration occurs at all depths so the aphotic zone is a region of oxygen consumption this deep unlit region is also known as the profundal zone dissolved oxygen in aquatic ecosystems oxygen is dissolved in water 
where its concentration varies constantly depending on factors that influence the input and output of oxygen in water. In fresh water the average concentration of dissolved oxygen is 0.0010%, also expressed as 10 parts per million or 10 ppm, by weight, which is 150 times lower than the concentration of oxygen in an equivalent volume of air. Oxygen enters the aquatic ecosystem through the air-water interface and by the photosynthetic activities of aquatic plants. Therefore, the quantity of dissolved oxygen present in an ecosystem depends on the rate at which the aforesaid two processes occur. Dissolved oxygen escapes the water body through air-water interface and through respiration of organisms, fish, decomposers, zooplanktons, etc. The amount of dissolved oxygen retained in water is also influenced by temperature. Oxygen is less soluble in warm water. Warm water also enhances decomposer activity. Therefore, increasing the temperature of a water body increases the rate at which oxygen is depleted from water. When the dissolved oxygen level falls below 3 to 5 ppm, many aquatic organisms are likely to die. Other limiting factors which influence on aquatic productivity are Transparency Transparency affects the extent of light penetration. Suspended particulate matters such as clay, silt, phytoplankton, etc. make the water turbid. Consequently, it limits the extent of light penetration and the photosynthetic activity in a significant way. Temperature The water temperature changes less rapidly than the temperature of air because water has a considerably higher specific heat than air, that is larger amounts of heat energy must be added to or taken away from water to raise or lower its temperature. Since water temperatures are less subject to change, the aquatic organisms have narrow temperature tolerance limit. As a result, even small changes in water temperature are a great threat to the survival of aquatic organisms when compared to the changes in air temperatures in the terrestrial organisms. So, this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. To get the note of this video scan the above QR code or check description to get the link. Thanks for watching have a beautiful day.